Hello, everyone, again. So thanks for assisting this session about cybersecurity problems in the metaverse. This is going to be an open session to all levels in cybersecurity from beginners to advanced. So I'm going to try to make it simple to everyone. I'm going to try to go slowly and speak some simple and fluid English so everyone can uh, follow me and understand the main topic and the main objectives of this webinar. So I'm Usain Ben Hajj Dahmen, also known as uh, Cyber Eagle 2001. I'm a certified penetration tester from the International Cybersecurity Institute, certified digital forensics examiner, CDFE, cybersecurity instructor at GoMyCo Tunisia, and also at SecurityZide, the uh, who, the organization that is powering this webinar, and also I'm the cybersecurity manager at Engineer Spa FST in Tunisia. So we will start by understanding the definition of cybersecurity, uh, the main goals that we work on, why we need cybersecurity. Then before getting into the cybersecurity problematic with the metaverse, I'm going to define what is a metaverse, how we can say that this project is a metaverse and why we are speaking about flows and vulnerabilities when it comes to the metaverse. So first step, we are going to understand what is cybersecurity. And at this time, I'm going to define cybersecurity using a quite advanced definition, which is the homeland security definition. It says that cybersecurity is the activity or process, ability or capability, states whereby information and communication systems and the information contained therein are protected from and or defended against damage, unauthorized use or modification or exploitation. So actually this is the main definition, the Homeland Cybersecurity definition. I hope that you understood it. Actually cybersecurity, it's not just one field. There is different fields when it comes to security. The first one is the oldest one. And this is what we call it cryptography. We have the forensics engineering, which is so important in cybersecurity. We have binary exploitation, which is the 3G here, and reverse engineering, which is the 5G. Actually, binary exploitation and reverse engineering always works together and goes together. We have also the application security. The last one, which is open source intelligence, or also now known as QSENT. So the point then we are going to really understand now is what we are working on cybersecurity. When we are talking about cybersecurity, then we have three main goals, also called the triads of cybersecurity. The first one is known as confidentiality. The second one is called as availability. And the third one is the antiquity, C-I-E. Robert Muller enacts FBI uh, cybersecurity unit manager said that there are only two types of companies, those that have been hacked and those that will be. Even that is merging into one category, that's those that have been hacked and will be again. This is why cybersecurity today is so important and we should really think about it in every steps in our life, in every area of our life. So let's talk now about about the metaverse and why we need the metaverse and what is the metaverse, first of all. Actually, metaverse has quite a fantastic definition. Metaverse is seen, and I highly uh, say it as seen as the future because actually the metaverse isn't yet working at 100%. We don't have full projects that are running as metaverse, but as Mark Zuckerberg says, as Google says, it's seen as the future. It can be the future form of the internet where we are opting for an open version of the web and to connecting the social web experiment, networked immersive environment in persistent multi-user platforms and allowing a real life communication where we emerge the real and virtual environment using technologies such as virtual and augmented reality. But 
to talk about the metaverse and to say that my project is a metaverse or my software or my my startup is working on a metaverse, we need seven points that must be present in order to, to say that that's, this is a metaverse. And to do that, we have these seven essential ingredients that must be present in order to say this is a metaverse. But also the seven points are the main cybersecurity issues we are going to deal with. The first one is decentralization. The second one is property rights. We have self-sovereign identity, composability, open source, community ownership, and social immersion. The last point, which is so important and so dangerous, which is the VR cybersecurity issues. Nowadays, if we are talking about cybersecurity problems, if we are talking about the VR, how we can access the metaverse, then we are, need, we are going to need the VR headsets, we are going to need the VR simulators, and these are quite problems. This is why it can be so dangerous. Why it can be so dangerous? Because if my life is going to be related to the VR technology, the headsets, and we all know that these headsets aren't 100% secure. What that, does that mean? That means that a hacker can gain access to my headset. And if he gain access to my headset, then he gain access to all my properties and to all my life inside the metaverse. And even so, it can, he can gain access to the VR when I'm using it. And when I'm using the headset, he can provide me with the ads he wants, with the information he wants, but also he can manipulate people who are using these headsets in order to push them to, to buy stuff or in order to push them to an ideological or political ideology. And this is going to be another way, another dangerous stuff on the other hand. Thank you to enjoy the session. Thank you for assisting everyone.